Hi everyone, it's Gary Nixon here for the Momentum Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook video updated on Saturday afternoon, the 7th of April. Now we've got easterly winds which are set to dominate again into the new week. Not the cold air that we saw in recent weeks and months, but still a chilly feel and winds will strengthen towards gale force for a time in midweek, pulling in lots of low cloud onto eastern regions, broadly at the west and northwestern areas, particularly in Scotland, will fare best for the brightest, driest conditions. Let's have a look at temperatures first of all, and this is the 850 millibar chart. That's uh, the familiar level that we use, and it's a good uh, steer for the temperatures on the highest summits. At this stage, this level is just above the highest Scottish mountains, but we can get the general feel for where things are going. So what we could say is the temperatures on this chart are maybe slightly colder than what you'll find on those very highest tops. Overall, it'll be just around or above freezing on most high tops. Uh, temperatures tending to lift a little bit into the new week. Coldest values will be across eastern regions. The Cairngorms, for example, may hold only a degree or so above freezing. Elsewhere, the Munros getting to around 4 or 5 degrees, and you might be a touch higher in some western regions on some days. Running through the week, not a great deal changes. The air mass uh, changes slightly in its uh, uh, temperature, but overall you'll stay above freezing point. But uh, with extensive snow cover across the Scottish mountains, that will thaw only very slowly. Let's have a look at the charts, and we've got a fairly slack pressure regime across the country on uh, Sunday. Not too much wind around in many areas. A rather murky start with uh, low cloud and fog from uh, low levels up in some places, tending to lift and break towards uh, many higher tops, although western Scotland may struggle to clear. Likewise, the high tops in the Lake District might not quite clear the cloud cover. We've got a front just to the north of Scotland, producing maybe a bit of patchy rain towards the far north. Otherwise, a largely dry day. One or two isolated showers by the middle of the day or the afternoon can't be ruled out. The front that's across central southeast England doesn't really come into play, but uh, the hangover of cloud from that may uh, restrict the sunshine in many places. Fairly cloudy skies again into Monday. So some breaks again to higher tops. Uh, wind still fairly light overall. Just the feature running across the Midlands, which may pivot round into the Peak District, the South Pennines and into Wales, giving some rain a bit more organised maybe as time goes on. One or two local showers elsewhere, but a fair amount of dry weather into Scotland. Uh, cloud breaking best probably toward the West and Northwest Highlands, with the wind flow turning more south or easterly. By Tuesday, it's a more definitive easterly wind that's in place. It could well be up to gale force across the Lake District and the Pennines, a typical easterly helm wind type of setup, I would have thought, with a pretty stable atmosphere in place. So local powerful gusts coming down at two low levels, a blustery day perhaps into the southern Scottish Highlands too. Difficulty with the absolute detail then of where fronts are, we've got the risk of some persistent rain coming in from the east. Running into the eastern Pennines, the Peak District and Wales, perhaps into the borders, perhaps even murkiness spreading into central southeast Scotland. And low cloud could plague the eastern Scottish Highlands most of the day, with the best of the breaks away towards the west coast. So they struggle with low cloud, I would have thought, across those eastern regions from Scotland down the Pennines on Wednesday. Best breaks toward the Western Lake District and Western Snowdonia. Perhaps best of all, again, is the West and Northwest Highlands, where many summits may well stay clear all the way through. Spits and spots of rain and a few showers may be coming in from the east. Dregs of old fronts uh, introducing rain or drizzle into parts of Wales shouldn't amount to a great deal, but could just leave things at very murky. And still the risk of winds not being far off gale force in places across the Pennines. Still looks like an easterly into Thursday. One or two showers again coming in from the east. At lowest cloud always across eastern regions. Best breaks away towards the west, and it's the West Highlands uh, up to Sky and Torridon, probably faring the best of all. So any sign of a change further ahead? Well, not really. That's the situation towards next weekend. Very tricky with the absolute detail. The broad picture is low pressure somewhere to the southwest, high pressure somewhere towards Scandinavia. And it's just the interaction of those two weather systems that then will dictate uh, how uh, fair the weather is. If the low is nearer to us, we still deal with some uh, low cloud and showers. If the high builds in a bit more, things may uh, settle more broadly and the cloud tends to break up a little bit more. But I'd still fancy that the eastern regions still pull in low cloud off the north see. So it's going to be a familiar picture, I think, of best of the cloud breaks and the dry weather towards uh, Western Scotland. 
And the overall message for the week ahead through until the 20th looks fairly similar. This chart shows high pressure then parked somewhere to the north and northeast of Britain. Low pressure again to the southwest. It's that familiar east or perhaps southeasterly flow that's set to dominate. It may be that the high eventually exerts more influence and in which case we'd see fairer weather, better conditions overall perhaps developing through the period. Confidence not that high given the relative slackness of the current pressure regime. But it seems as though we're well away from anything coming in off the Atlantic in terms of westerlies. Wind flows east or southeasterlies will be the most common. So we'll keep an eye on those long range details for anything changing later in the month. So don't forget, of course, to stay right up to date with your local information for your next three days updated daily on the Mountain Weather website. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.